Hello everyone, this is CB Smallwood and welcome welcome to Coloring Comics with GIMP. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, color a black and white image uh, using GIMP, um, specifically for comics, but you can use it for anything else. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, I am using GIMP uh, 2.8, so there's like different versions of GIMP. It is a totally free program. It's uh, similar to Photoshop and other related programs. So if you want something free and that can get the job done, I recommend GIMP. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, first, what you want to do is you want to um, open the file that you want to color. And I'm going to go to my desktop and let's see, let me back out of that. Let's go to desktop again. What, what am I going to color? I know, I know what I'm trying to color here. I'm trying to find it. There we go. And I think I'm going to choose this. Okay. So I'm uploading a PDF file. And I'm, just for the sake of expediency, uh, it's already got the recommended sizes for everything. So I'm going to click on import right here. So it's going to import the image. Okay. Now, the next thing that you want to do when you are coloring something in GIMP you want to go to colors and you want to play with the brightness and contrast. Now the reason that you want to do this is because, let me get out of that. The reason that you want to do this is if you notice like the blacks are not absolutely black on this and the whites are not absolutely white. So we want to fix that before we go any further with the coloring process. Now this is my opinion. Other people's got their own ways of doing things and this one is mine. So let's go to colors. Brightness and contrast. All right. And so you just kind of play play around with it. So we're going to go back and forth on the brightness and contrast till we get it to how we like it. So that makes it fuzzy. So let's bring it down. That makes it dark. Let's try the contrast and see what that does. There we go. That looks perfect to me. Now you don't want to get too crazy with it because a lot of the line work and the inks and stuff will get fuzzy. Uh, so that that looks good enough for me so now we've made this absolutely black and white it looks gorgeous the next thing that we want to do is that we want to create an alpha layer now this sounds a little uh, a little complicated but it's really not uh, and I'll explain why you need to do this but first let's go ahead and create an alpha layer for this so we're going to go to a layer scroll down to transparency and we're going to color to alpha click on that uh, it's got like a free preview here and this is what it's going to look like when we color to alpha uh, see these little this checkerboard pattern it basically sort of makes uh, your image into a png you know when those transparent images um, and there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. So now this is a black and clear transparent image. So just so we can see what we're with what we're working with, we're going to go over here to the layers dock. It's labeled layers up top. And we're going to click on this. Uh, layer new name. Um, I don't know. We, we can just type in background doesn't matter whatever background kind of working around a microphone here now the layer fill type so mainly uh, when I'm coloring my comics I, I just use these two bottom options I either pick white or transparency um, but for a base layer I pick white now you notice how it made everything white don't panic it didn't get rid of your image go back over here to layers uh, left click and hold it down and drag it up top and let go there you go now let me show you something else about GIMP that you need to know um, see these little eyeballs to the left this means that it, it that it is visible so if you want to make something unvisible click on it it gets rid of it you want to make this background a thing uh, vi visible and not visible there you go. Uh, my next tip about uh, coloring with GIMP is basically remember, 
remember to select whatever it is that you're wanting to color because you're going to end up with like anywhere from four to five to six or seven different layers or more and the more layers that you have um, <laughs> the more it's easy to get kind of get lost on things so make sure that you have selected what layer that you're working with okay uh, because there's been many times when for example like I've tried to color this uh, PDF layer 00 0.9 right and it won't color I'm nothing I'm doing is showing up and that's because I would have this layer highlighted so be aware of stuff like that it doesn't cause any major problems it's just you know a rookie mistake all right so now we've made uh, an alpha layer and we're pretty much ready to color so the next thing that we need to do is create another layer and this one from here on here on out the layers that we're going to create are all going to be transparent so select transparency okay so now we got a transparent layer I'm going to drag this down right here so you want to have your original line work layer up here and you want to have your background layers uh, I mean not your background layers let's re rename this edit layer attributes um, just call it layer <laughs> you want to have your clear layers over top your line work okay and so now what we can do is um, I've selected my paintbrush and I've selected my color tool and by clicking on it it makes this box pop pop up and I'm going to pick a color at random and let's see here all right and I'm going to change the size of my brush you see how it's kind of itty bitty right here I'm going to make it bigger so right here in this box I can change the size of it so I'm going to make the size of it about this big that looks good enough to me all right so you see that now I'm not really trying to seriously color color with this I'm just kind of giving you an example of what you can do and see the cool thing is you know I'm not covering up the the original black black uh, line work with these colors uh, I can even uh, change it by selecting the the uh, fill tool select red boom now everything's red uh, but the point is that I'm trying to get to is the cool thing about layers is uh, you know you can add more and you can color over top of them and it won't hurt nothing you know now this is brown and if you want to see what it looks like without that brown spot there you go so anyway uh, that's how you uh, get started on coloring uh, your comic with uh, GIMP uh, this is a very basic straightforward tutorial and I just want to kind of hold your hand and take you step by step how to do it without taking much time so uh, if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful uh, please leave a uh, like comment and subscribe to be kept up to date to all my latest shena sh shenanigans and as always this is cb smallwood and i will see you in the next video